tonight on the CTV News, police are investigating after shelter staff find a man dead. Plus, tips for boaters hitting the water to beat the heat. And Heritage Day dishes out a taste of Alberta's many cultures. CTV News with Alicia Fieldberg. Good evening. Lethbridge police are investigating after staff at the city's homeless shelter found a 55-year-old man dead. Officers were called to the shelter around 5 o'clock this morning. Police are releasing very few details at this time, but we'll bring you more information as it becomes available. It was a busy weekend for Lethbridge police as they investigated several robberies and assaults. Around 11 o'clock last night, a 20-year-old man was beaten up and robbed by three men along South Parkside Drive. He was treated for minor injuries at Chinook Regional Hospital. The first suspect is described as a 40 to 60 year old native man, about 5 foot 7 with hair to his shoulders. He was wearing blue jeans, a blue t-shirt and a red and blue cap. The second suspect is a 30 to 40 year old native man, about 5 foot 10 with short buzzed hair. He was wearing cut off blue jeans and a white muscle shirt. The third suspect is described as a very skinny 20 year old native man, about 5 foot 4. He was wearing green or grey pants with a green or grey shirt and a black cap. Anyone with information should contact police or Crime Stoppers. And police have issued an arrest warrant for a 27-year-old Lethbridge man after a woman was assaulted and robbed Sunday night. It happened in the 3200 block of Mayor McGrath Drive South. A woman was walking with two men when one of them assaulted her. The second man tried to intervene but was threatened by the suspect who had a pair of scissors. 22-year-old Kelsey David Wolfchild is charged with robbery, assault with a weapon and uttering threats. And police are investigating an assault outside a Southside business. On Saturday, police were called to the 1200 block of 3rd Avenue South. Officers say a man was assaulted inside and outside the business by two others. After kicking the victim in the head several times, the two suspects left the area in a cab. They're described as a white man about 5 foot 11 with black short spiky hair and a native man about 5 foot 10, 220 pounds. Anyone with information should contact police. A search is underway for a Calgary hiker who went missing in the Castle Mountain area of Banff National Park. 44-year-old Hoseok Michael Huang went hiking in the Banff National Park Saturday morning. When he didn't return that evening, his family contacted Parks Canada. They immediately launched a ground and air search that's continuing today. They found his station wagon at the Castle Mountain Trailhead parking lot, but haven't found anything unusual. All day yesterday with the aircraft and with ground crews, and uh, we had no luck, and we're continuing the search today. Huang is an Asian male, about 5 foot 6 tall, with short black hair. Anyone with information on his disappearance is asked to call Parks Canada, Lake Louise RCMP or Crime Stoppers. The surface parking lot at Chinook Regional Hospital will be permanently closed this week. A $112 million redevelopment project is underway there. A 19,000 square meter multi-story addition will be built onto the hospital. The parking area on the north side of the building will also be shut down. Hospital officials say there will still be enough parking for visitors, staff and patients in the new parquet that opened last year. Officials are also permanently blocking off east-west road access through the surface lot to the emergency department. Crews will be creating new ambulance parking and a turnaround. And the City of Lethbridge wants to let you know about a road closure. Starting tomorrow morning, 5th Avenue South between 4th Street and Scenic Drive will be closed to traffic in both directions. The closure is necessary to remove the parking bridge at Lethbridge Centre. Motorists are asked to follow detours, drive with caution and expect delays. The area is expected to be closed to traffic for about a week. Many of you enjoying a day off work can thank Heritage Day for that. The annual holiday was established in 1974 as a way to recognize and celebrate Alberta's varied cultural heritage. At Exhibition Park, the annual Heritage Day celebrations got underway at 11 o'clock this morning. It's organized by the Southern Alberta Ethnic Association. For $2, locals had the chance to taste ethnic foods, shop at dozens of vendor tables and watch a number of stage performances. Most people feel comfortable when they know that in a place they, their culture is appreciated. And if they are appreciated, that means they will put 
to building our community. But I think there is a bigger uh, reason for doing this. We not only call ourselves a multicultural country, but we celebrate our multicultural heritage. And that is what this day is all about. The Southern Alberta Ethnic Association hosts monthly dinners showcasing food and music from the homelands of families who now call Lethbridge home. For more information, visit ethnicassociation.org. And it was a summer scorcher today. Is that going to continue, Steve? Well, yes and no, Alicia. It was just a great day out there, Yal, for the hikers, the cyclists, the rafters going down the river. We're going to cool off just a little bit over the next few days and see a little bit more in the way of cloud, but it's still going to feel a lot like summer, and actually it's going to continue with great weather for the beginning of the harvest. I know some of the farmers are already on the fields, and actually the rest of the week doesn't look too bad. We'll have all those details coming up in a few minutes, Alicia. Thanks, Steve. Temperatures soared into the 30s today, and it's not expected to cool down anytime soon. That means nearby lakes and rivers will be full of people, and the boats will be out on the water. Boat safety instructors say it also means a higher chance of an accident on the water. Del Rommel reports. It's the August long weekend, and this lake is full of boaters. For most, safety is number one. Yeah, the water is, has a different set of circumstances than, for example, driving a vehicle. It's Bob Hedrick's job to teach boaters what they need to know to be safe on the water. He's been teaching courses for 11 years. He says proper education and preparation are key to being safe on the water, along with common sense. The uh, water safety and education is always a thing that's needed. There are new people coming on the market as new boaters every year. So we need to consider that. There are roughly 10 million registered boaters in Canada, an estimated 3 million watercraft in use. And I think the first thing, of course, is your need to have your pleasure craft operator card. And this is a, a sample of the card here that I have. And despite all of them taking the necessary training, a must since 1999, Hedrick says there are nearly 200 people killed each year in boating-related accidents. Police say one of the biggest problems they continue to see on the water on a long weekend is people drinking and boating, thinking that the rules that apply to a car don't apply to a boat. But they do, and the results could be just as deadly. Nearly 40% of all on-water fatalities involve the use of alcohol. Statistics show that during hot weather on long weekends, the accident rate intensifies as boaters become more complacent and tend to skip things like life jackets. Waterways also become more congested, increasing the likelihood of a crash. Hedrick says as an instructor, all he can do is give students the information and hope it sinks in. Daryl Rummelt, CTV News, Lethbridge. For more information or to sign up for a boat safety course, call 393-BOAT. Tabor corn is now being enjoyed across southern Alberta, but unharvested corn is also a welcome sight to many long weekenders. Great. Creators of the Lethbridge Corn Maze invite visitors to get lost. Each year, creators harvest a new design into the cornfield. This year, it celebrates the 25th anniversary of the Looney. The maze takes about an hour to complete and also includes kids and trivia versions. Visitors from around the world check out the corn farm and petting zoo each August until October. Creators say this year's amazing weather has helped the attraction. So the corn crop is really good this year, so that's very nice to see. So the corn is thicker than last year actually. And, uh, but yeah, the height is good and it's just a good maze at the moment. Like you can't see through it to see through the other path. The maze gets more challenging later in the season as the corn grows taller and thicker. In the fall, you can even try it in the dark. Thousands of country music lovers were treated to an entertaining weekend in Fort McLeod. Lots of kinds of problems and there's lots of kinds of pain. Cor Blund and the Hurt and Albertans took the stage at the second annual Canadian Country Weekend. The Nitty Gritty Dirt Band and Doc Walker were also some of this year's headliners. The three-day event lets country music fans camp out at the Fish and Game Park and listen to some of their favorite artists. Organizers say this year was a huge success. They're hoping to continue to attract big names in country music. And uh, we just had a wonderful, wonderful time this year. Uh, continue to grow and get better, uh, expanding to the third day. Uh, we weren't sure how it was going to go, but, you know, we've just been just really, really, really successful. So we're really excited. Planning has already started for next year's event, which will take place next August long weekend. Local theatre officials are hoping to capture some of the magic of Cirque du Soleil. 
The Montreal-based performing arts company performed several sold-out shows at the NMAX Centre this week. It's the first time Cirque has come to town. The show ends just as New West Theatre is getting set to launch their latest sta stage production, a musical called Party On. The play's director hopes Cirque will give people the theatre bug and they'll check out some of the local talent. We're hoping that, you know, the people who do check out Circus Lair, some of those touring things, uh, also take a second to come and check out New West Theatre because uh, those shows, in a very similar sort of vein, is very accessible, very broad-based, uh, but also focuses on Lethbridge talent and local people here at a, at a very high quality. So. And Party On runs August 8th until September 1st. And now let's take a look at the markets.